is the most important ancient forefather of modern haplogroup group I won someone that you've never heard of? It's a fascinating story, a journey of survival. Thousands of miles over thousands of years led to this amazing man. From a hunter to a king, let me tell you how it all began. Now we are exhaust. We are I, I, one. We are exhaust. We are In my opinion, the most important and prolific ancient haplogroup I1 forefather to ever live is the last common patulo ancestor of the IZ2893 subclade on the Weifel haplo tree. This branch has seven child branches thus far, including all three major branches IZ63. IY2592 and IZ58. This subclade is only comprised of one SMP. So it's theoretically possible that this proficient and prolific king or chieftain, who was most likely the last common patulo ancestor of this branch, might have been the same individual in whom this SMP originated. Child branches IZ63, IY2592, IY11204, IY18697 are comprised of only one SMP. Child branch IZ58, two SMPs. What this signifies to me is that not only was Mr. IZ2893 an important and prolific individual, but so were his sons, grandsons, great-grandsons, and other direct patulo descendants who would leave a lasting genetic legacy in the region. Weifel gives an age estimate of approximately 4,392 years before present or around 2442 BCE for when this prolific king or chieftain lived. This is precisely when I would expect this individual to have lived based on when haplogroup I1 starts showing up in the archaeological record. Known as the Genghis Khan effect, it's going to take several centuries for a very proficient ancient individual to have enough sons, grandsons, great-grandsons, etc., to be widespread enough to start showing up in the archeological record. Evidence of this comes from the study, Population Genomics of Postglacial Western Eurasia, with ancient DNA sample Neo220, who was discovered in Falkoping 5, Sweden. He lived approximately around the year 2036 BCE. So just a few centuries after his very prolific forefather, Mr. IZ2893, and very close in time to his even more closely related forefather, Mr. IY18697. In the following map, you can see the location of Falkoping in Sweden between major lakes Vanern and Vatern. Now, I'm not sure why family tree DNA doesn't have this SMP, doesn't have this subclade on their haplo tree. But if I had to guess, I would think it might have something to do with the fact that their big Y tests do not cover this Y chromosome location very well. I manage five different big Y tests, and all five of them, as you can see in the following graphic, had zero reads for this Y chromosome base pair location. That being said though, I do know personally an individual who tested with Nebula Genomics 
And in that test, this Y chromosome base pair location was covered well. He had 20 reads and all 20 reads were derived. Based on that information, I believe that this is a legitimate SMP that should be placed on the haplotree tree and that it originated in a real ancient forefather of ours. In my opinion, the most prolific and most important haplogroup I1 forefather to have ever lived. Thanks for watching.